Hey everyone, welcome back to the Center for Off-Road Research and Science Technical Division and uh, just give you an update on what's going on right now. Um, I have a uh, adapter plate coming for the speed bolt. I'm going to be installing this motor and transmission in it very soon. Um, however, it's going to look something like that. And uh, I'm being intentionally vague because this thing is probably going to be a beast. So um i'm looking forward to that um also Corey miller did the speed bolt graphics for me it's kind of a chrome lettering i think that's really cool and i uh, got the exp io on the air dam up front and uh that's cool too but the big news right now is right here this is going to be for the 2023 camp and crawl and uh, this is a raffle for the uh, kids, one of the kids prizes. And this is the Fury Tech Olympus Titanium Rolling Cage for the Axial SDX24. And this thing is super cool. Um, I will ask the person who paid for all this stuff if I can give him some credit on my channel here. I don't know that uh, he wants his name mentioned. He's a super good guy from my limited experience with him so far, but he has literally paid for this chassis, which I'm sure is not cheap. I need to do a little bit of research on it. And an entire box full of Fury type goodies. Um, there is some incredible stuff in here. It's gonna have this uh, micro stellar transmission. And uh, I mean, it's it's some fancy stuff. It's, it's really nice. Um, this is for the kids. I mean, this this is going to be an absolutely incredible build. Um, it's going to have uh, RC four-wheel drive. Uh, let's see which ones these are. Interco. And uh, I'll have to look at that a little more. These are the Super Swamper TSL Boggers. And they're pretty cool. So this is a really good choice, I think, for this particular build. And um, he just kind of went with whatever I, whatever I told him. And uh, this, this is going to be awesome. There's some really, really uh, uh, great stuff in here that's going to be fantastic. So um, I'll build it on the camera. And... Uh, Look forward to it. I also, as you saw in an earlier video, just bought one of the 118 Capras. I had absolutely no intention of buying one of those. None at all. I was going to buy the TRX4M. And when I got into the hobby store today, I was just blown away by how good that thing is. It's fully upgraded already. Well, not fully. I mean, I'm probably going to do a brushless motor and uh, wheels and tires probably. A little brass on the front axle, but... I think that's all it's going to take to really make it great. I'll, uh, I haven't even unboxed it yet, so um, that's a future video. I'll take it out to uh, Altoona Crawler Paradise. It's a location that I uh, have shown you in a few videos where I do most of my one-tenth scale crawling. So I'm looking forward to how that's going to look and how it's going to drive in one-ten land, but it is not a small-scale track. It's almost like a it's almost like a mini 110 in a way because you can actually put 1.9 wheels on it. You could put 2.2 wheels on it. it, uses the same hex. So if you want to build something ridiculous, you'd be able to do it with that. It has a 380 can motor and uh, you can do a lot with it, I think. But this is my next project right here. This cage here, I put it on my scale. It weighs 75 grams. Now, I went ahead and put this on my scale, and it does have an ESC mounted to it with it. So that's probably 25 grams, and I can't remember what that's weighed in at. Let me uh, go ahead and do a quick measurement on it. 102. So, literally without the ESC in it, it probably weighs... An identical amount to this and this is the chassis and body 
this is the chassis and I, I haven't even looked in here to know if there's a body that comes with it but if there is it's really a shame to cover up this really great metal work here is whoever designed this thing they did a nice job they got it straight they got it clean uh, the joints are good and uh, I'm looking forward to building this it's really cool that's all for now and uh, we'll get back to y'all later